I do have to say, I like the idea of the copycat killer. I think part 5 was onto something. The thought of any person putting on a hockey mask and committing a series of murders is something that could actually happen. That idea is scarier than any supernatural slasher villain. It brings me to a theory of mine where none of the sequels feature Jason at all. He has a completely different body type in each installment anyway. What if each time it was just somebody else copying him? Even the retroactive continuity in part 3 flashes back to show the Jason from that movie which supposedly took place years before the Jason we see in part 2. And if we're going by the idea that the ending of part 1 was a hallucination or a dream, then we could say that when Jason drowned, he drowned and that was it. Ever since Mrs. Voorhees attacked, it's all these different faceless psychopathic killers that have been in the area that have been blamed on Jason for lack of identity and the over-imagination of everybody keeping Jason's memory alive. Or, Jason possibly never even existed at all, it was just an urban legend. That's why he's immortal, because nobody can forget him.